G'day people, I'm Sharon, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the tools I used and how I used them in order to put drawstrings in my bag. I've got an opening on either side of my drawstring bag and I've actually got two casings so that I can put two pieces of cord through. This is the tool I'm going to use to put the cord through. It's called a bodkin and they're not at all hard to use. If I put my cord into the bodkin and slide it down between the two halves of the metal. When I s slide it through, I'm going to slide it through with the rounded edge first. And there's a good reason why we do that. We don't want to have it go this way first. If I do this way, this can pull out of the bodkin. It's not going to pull out if I'm going in this direction. So I need to go in between the two layers of fabric here and pushing that in. How big your cord is makes it a bit more, You, if it's a really thick cord, you need a bigger casing to get double the casing through when you're starting. At the moment, my bodkin is there. I'm going to push the fabric onto the bodkin as much as I can get on. And then I'm going to hold the front end of the bodkin and pull the fabric off the back. Then the same again. That's where the back of the bodkin is. That's where the front is. If I hold the back and push the fabric along as much as it, as much of it as I can get onto that bodkin. And look, I'm coming out the end here. So I need to make sure I get, and once I've got it out the end, all I need to do is pull it. And there's my thread my cord all the way through. Now in this particular case I'm now going to turn over and I'm going to do exactly the same thing in the other direction and this would be exactly the same if I was putting elastic through. So put the rounded end of the bodkin in and then push as much fabric onto the bodkin as I can hold the front end and pull the fabric off the back end. So now we're through there and you can do it in small pieces. So this is just hold the front, push it on, pull it off. When I get to the end, I've just got to find my way out of that hole. And there we are. And now just pull it off. To make sure these don't come undone, I can do a reef knot, which is sometimes called a square knot. And those knots are actually a bit flatter and smoother. So there's one. For a drawstring like this, where you've got two pieces of casing, I want to have the other one start at this end and be knotted at this end. This is another form of bodkin and this is the round end that's going to go in first and this is the other end which is like a pair of tweezers so if I get my fat and my cord and attach it on there when I push that little loop down it's a bit like a pair of tongs being held together so let's go through with the bottom one Find the gap between the two pieces of fabric. And same thing, I'm going to push fabric on the front and pull it off the back. On the front, pull it off the back. It's exactly the same way I would be doing this with elastic. Just push it onto the front of the bodkin and then off the back. Now this one I'm going to turn over. 
and go in the other side. Just a matter of me finding the, the gap between the two pieces of fabric. And we come out where it went in to begin with between the two pieces of fabric and pull it out. And then I just release that little ring and that lets go and I can tie these ones together. The main reason I prefer bodkins over safety pins, aside from the fact that I don't like stabbing myself, is because a bodkin is longer. Because it's longer, I can hold the back of it, push more fabric onto the front before I pull it off at the back. With a little safety pin, I'm gonna to have to do lots of little movements to get that to happen. There are also plastic things that look a bit like a needle and they're longer, and they would work pretty much the same as these. The difference being that you are holding something that's longer and you can push more on and then hold the front and pull more off. They probably are a bit harder to use in small items. So if you're making little um, rompers for a baby, they're going to be hard to get through a leg. But also they will be a little less durable. And honestly, I've got one of these I inherited from my mum. Now that I've got the cords in there and they're knotted, one at each end, they're not, if I pull on that, that's not nicely at the end and I want it to be nicely at the end. So if I get this, the middle part of it, and grab the end, I can make them even so that it's, that's the ends and that's the middle and then just pull it along. Similarly, this one, just I'm fiddling the um, cord through there so that I've got a middle here. And once I've done that, I can pull on both ends and tie up my little bag. If you're using a bodkin to put elastic in a casing, so maybe around the waist of a pair of pants for a child, Quite often the piece of elastic is actually shorter than the fabric. It stretches out to be the same size as the fabric, but it's shorter. And the way to make sure that you don't inadvertently pull the tail end of the elastic into the casing, and then you just have to pull it out and do the whole lot again, is to pin the far end of the elastic to something on the garment that you're making. And it doesn't matter how far you pull, that pin will hold it there and stop it from coming through. So when you get back to the start, you can tie them off without having lost your end. So bodkins are really easy to use. What you've got to remember is it's this end that you want to push in first if you're using this one, and that will be pulling the cord or the elastic further down into the bodkin so that it doesn't fall out accidentally. And similarly, it's this end that you want to have go in first. And that little ring pulls it tight around the elastic or whatever it is that you're pulling in. You can also use safety pins to do this job. However, if the safety pin comes undone and you are pushing it around with the pointy end as the one that's being pushed and it comes undone, you might stab yourself with the pointy end of it with the pin um, and if it's not the pointy end that's going around first and it comes undone you can have your cord or whatever fall off it so these work well they're not very expensive they're called bodkins and they're fabulous so the drawstring bag is reversible and that will be my next video see you next time